Hey, Teddy K here for Best Buy Plugin, and in this video review, we take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. These are the latest flagship smartphones from Samsung and are iterative updates from last year. If you're expecting a big leap forward in either the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, you're really not going to get that here. Although I would argue that you'll get a bigger change with the S9 Plus because of the extra lens and a couple other factors. Now, the key thing that Samsung is trying to push here is some camera improvements and then of course the animated emojis and uh, some of the other little nips and tucks that they've made to make the device even better than what they had last year. In the physical design, the screen sizes are the same, but one thing they've done is they've definitely made an improvement with the fingerprint sensor by putting it where it should be, uh, beneath the lens as opposed to beside it. You know, people were touching the lens all the time doing that. Stereo speakers are nice. It's a long overdue feature, I think, that should have been in the phones probably a long time ago, but they at least put them in, and the sound is better for it, so that's a good thing too. But other than that, there's really not that much that's different. Yes, there's still a headphone jack, and that's all great, but there's not that much that's different from a physical perspective. The S9 Plus, of course, has that second lens, but we'll talk about that in a second. Otherwise, they look pretty much the same. They feel pretty much the same, and despite a couple of differences with the colors, there's not that much that's different from a physical, from when you're holding in your hand, there's not that much that's different with either phone. So to touch on the animated emojis or AR emojis as Samsung calls them, so this is basically uh, like an avatar that is, that you know, the front facing camera sees you, scans your face, and creates this animated avatar that's supposed to look like you. But does it? I mean, look at me. Does it look like me? I'm even going to talk to it, and you tell me what you think. I think I'm going to leave this to you to decide. Because I'm not so sure. I mean, even me talking to myself just now looks a little weird. My mouth doesn't really enunciate the words the way I'm saying them, and even though the facial expressions are okay, and I can smile, uh, there's just a little bit something weird going on here, and I'm, I can't really totally put my finger on it. At times it can be funny, at other times it can be a little bit creepy. For the camera, you know, I gotta say, Samsung, good job. By going with a mechanical aperture, they've had an f1.5, which is the widest of any phone to date, or an f2.4. It's very good. I mean, this is, the, this is one of those things where you are adding a mechanical element to something that was typically software-based. The problem with it was that you couldn't always reduce the noise. Now that's why I've always suggested shooting in pro mode because if you shoot in pro mode, you can, you can definitely tinker with the photo a little bit. Samsung is done in such a way where you can access, you can change, you can toggle the aperture in pro mode, but in auto mode, the auto mode is supposed to kind of do it for you. Does it work? Yeah, for the most part, I would say it does. And the results are really, really good. Uh, up next to the Pixel 2, this is definitely one of the best camera phones you can get. The addition of the second lens on the S9 Plus is going to function the same way it did in the Note 8. Now, if you've never had the Note 8, you may not know what, how that works. Uh, I would recommend checking out my review of the Note 8 for that. But basically, the idea is that you can uh, shoot in, uh, in a depth of field. Uh, you can get some depth of field when you shoot uh, using the second lens, or you can just zoom in because it's a two times optical. So if you just need to get a little bit closer to the scene, you can do that as well. Ultimately, do you need to upgrade to either the S9 or S9 Plus if you have an S8? No, I would say no, you don't. You really don't have to upgrade uh, if you have an S8 or an S8 uh, Plus because the phones are very, very similar. You definitely don't have to make a move if you have a Note 8. Uh, that's a different animal. But uh, if you have an S7 or an S6, I think you will notice a more dramatic difference because the form factor is so different with those phones. The features are so much different than those phones. So I think when you have that two or three year gap between devices, I think that's when you see the biggest difference and that's where I think the value proposition stands out even more. And that's my review of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus for Best Buy plugin. I'm Teddy K. Thanks for watching.